Grand Rising, Grand Arrival, Grand Return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I am Sophia of the Marikana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transmutation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a format that best serves our creator. Today is Monday, October the 7th, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine State. We have our sun at 14 degrees of Libra. We have our moon at five degrees of Sagittarius. We have a much more active sky than we did yesterday. We still have um, this trine energy. Uh, well, it's like a trine sextile opposition between Chiron at 21 degrees of Aries. It's, a sec it's sextile to Jupiter at 21 degrees of Aries, which is trine to... Um, actually it's not exact like it was yesterday, but we have Vulcan at 20 degrees of Libra and we have June, uh, yeah, Juno at 20 degrees of Libra. Remember Vulcan is intense passion, creativity, drive for perfection. And Juno is partnership, commitment, and relationship dynamics. These energies are both in an opposition to that Chiron, which we discussed a minute ago. So this, there's this you know, emphasis on our intense passion and our relationships and really making sure that energy is, is kind of shored up. Now we have a opposition between Eris, which is discord, strife, and need to assert one's authentic self, and the black moon, Lilith, which is primal instincts, deepest desire, and shadow selves. Um, Eris is at 25 degrees of Aries. And the black moon is at 24 degrees of Libra. So this is going to intensify um, over the next day or so. So definitely watch your words, watch your, you know, how you respond to things is definitely going to be up for uh, a deeper analysis or reanalysis in some cases so that you're not just, you know, responding to things that are being churned up by someone else. You know, um, we also have this beautiful trine energy between mars at 18 degrees of cancer and venus at 17 degrees of um, scorpio and this is going to be again building for a day or two because it's not exact yet but this is basically mars which is drive passion and assertion communicating with venus our love beauty and values in a flowing relationship so this should be some pretty good energy so you just have this underlying Aries black moon thing trying to churn stuff up underneath but really the main star of the show is going to be this energy right here it is the strongest for the day we also have a square between jupiter and vesta which we haven't had a lot of vesta activations recently and vesta is devotion purity and the sacred flame of self and that's in a square to jupiter so that gives me and before i even get into what it what i think it means you have chiron in an in conjunct to this vesta as well so it's almost like you have your masculine and feminine energy coming into this beautiful harmonizing relationship and your devotion shouldn't get in the way of that your drive for perfection your other you know interpersonal relationships they can't get in the way of that energy so that's why you have um you know vesta being sort of challenged uh where it hasn't really been activated recently and um the black moon and Aries, and they're all just kind of and also like they're all kind of busy so that they can't interfere with this venus and um mars uh trine and you also have Saturn side-eyeing or, or in conjunct to the um, sun, Saturn being at 13 degrees of Pisces and the sun is at 14 degrees of Libra. So that's another energy that's like, okay, let's take a look at how this shows up on the outside and make sure that it's in alignment with who you really are and who you are actually trying to become, the new you that's emerging. So for a deeper look uh, or analysis of the astrology, please contact your favorite local astrologer, okay? All right, so we're on day six of the moon cycle. This is a 5.4 day old moon with 24.1% illumination. This is a waxing crescent with a moon rise time of 11.51 a.m. and a moon set time of 9.55 p.m. 
All right, so the numerology for today, uh, courtesy of calendarnumerology.com, is solitude, spirituality, intelligence, and cleanliness. So again, you can see that in the astrology. Venus and Mars are having this, you know, perfect quote unquote union and these other, you know, backbiting energies, the Black Moon Lilith, Aries, Vesta, Juno, uh, Vulcan are all kind of busy so that they can't interfere. And they're busy with the bigger dogs like Jupiter, uh, Chiron, these are bigger dogs than these ones, more well known, more accepted than these smaller ones. So they're they're just being kept in check to make sure that this beautiful flowing um, relationship between the Venus and Mars can can go off without a hitch. So that's uh, interesting how the numerology ties into that. So today again is a seven day. All right, so for our astrotherography, sun sign decan, we are in three of swords, which is internal liberation. We can best transmute this by using the three of wands, which is external gratitude through the lens of the seventh house in Aries, which is to don't be aggressive when cooperation is required. So um, again, this is, uh, we're entering a time period where we have to work with others. Um, of course, we have this beautiful Venus um, energy that's, uh, uh, in a flowing relationship to Mars. So uh, that's really what it is. We have to be cooperative. It's like, don't be arguing when cooperation is, is necessary. And that's, you know, in the astrology and that's in the astrotherography. Oh, wrong way. All right. So our North Node decan is um, the two of wands, which is plans, travel, and new ideas. This is our outside influence card and also our Jezebel card. And you want to transmute this with the two of swords, which is our intuition card. That's solutions, difficulties, and indecisions through the lens of the first house in Libra, which is to find yourself in others and look for your balance. So this is, you know, perfect energy for this Venus Mars um, trine. We're finding ourselves in our masculine energy and our feminine energy are balancing out and, um, you know, that's really, really great. And the, all of the, you know, this is all supporting that being a, us being able to identify what that balance looks like. All right. So for our tree of life, yearly progressions and predictions, solar tree, uh, we are in Venus energy until October the 17th. And that's the eight of swords, which is our natural disaster card. So keep an eye out for all the natural disasters that could happen around you. This is overthinking self-criticism and entrapment. You can transmute this by using the Eight of Wands, uh, which is travel, movement, and communication through the lens of the Ninth House in Gemini, which is to learn how to properly use words and wisdom. So another thing where you have to learn how to communicate, know how to fold them, know, know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Um, don't overthink things. Um, you know, again, the natural disasters is a thing, but the wisdom of you know, dealing with these natural disasters is that you can pick up and move. And so move with, if it's necessary, if it's called, uh, don't think that you're going to somehow make it through this. That's not going to be the case. So let's take a look at the lunar tree of life, uh, yearly progressions and predictions. We are in North Node energy until October the 27th, and that is the Fool, which is beginnings, start of a new journey, and literally a baby. We are in baby mode. We must be babied right now. And you can transmute this by using the Wheel of Fortune, which is good fortune, karma or dharma, and luck through the lens of the second house in Libra, which is to prefer to work with others, don't want to care for self. So again, everything is pointing to this. We have to rely on an uh, energy that's um, outside of ourselves uh, and pull that energy in. It's also saying that we have to rely on other parts of ourselves that we're not necessarily used to. And that's what will bring us good luck and good fortune in this time. If you enjoy this type of astrology content, please feel free to follow me on my YouTube channel at Sophia Spiritualite. If you'd like a copy of our monthly calendar with all the slides, please go over to our Schumann Mystery School. That's where that is available. And um, uh, 
thank you for joining us for today's daily transmutation report. Peace and blessings and we'll see you tomorrow.